the heaviest manual player in the 60,000 yen range. Yamaha GT 750 69,800 yen As an analog player for the CD era, it is a high CP machine that looks good and satisfies the necessary requirements, while being low cost. Actual weight, 15.6 kilograms. It should be the heaviest in this price range. The large cabinet with a black matte finish is suitable for enthusiasts. All six sides, including the bottom plate, are made of 18 mm thick particle board, making this a sturdy cabinet. There are six screws to attach the bottom plate, but they are firmly fixed and there is no fear of resonance. It's a big change compared to the flat bottom plates of a while ago, but the emphasis on bottom plates can be said to be a recent trend in audio parts in general. The inside of the cabinet is extremely simple. The cutouts on the board are also extremely small and have a rational design. The power transformer is also fixed directly to the board. Normally, the transformer is suspended with springs as a vibration proofing measure, but if the transformer has little vibration and the cabinet is heavy and strong, it may be sufficient to hang it directly. The turntable has a diameter of 36 cm and weighs 2,950 g. It has concentric ribs, and in addition to the usual two round holes, there are also two oval holes along the inner rib, making it look like a belt-driven turntable. The sheet weighs 360 g. This turntable and seat seem to be equivalent to the GT-1000. Looking at the specs, the motor seems to be the same. It is a solid motor with a starting torque of 1.2 kg. As far as the tone arm specs are concerned, it feels the same as the GT-2000 and GT-1000. The base is also 100Fi x 15mm die-cast and sturdy. The attached shells are machined for the 2000 and die-cast for the 1750, which are the same. The output cord is Neglex 2496, which is the same for all three models, but for some reason the DC resistance is gradually getting lower, 1 ohm 1000 m omega for the 2000, 880 m omega for the 1000, and 800 m omega for the 750. Of course, the lower the better. The output cord is the type that sticks out on the top like the higher end models, so although I haven't confirmed it, it should be possible to replace it with the brass arm YSA-1. However, I don't think anyone would combine a 40,000 yen interchangeable arm with a 69,800 yen player. The arm is sturdy with high sensitivity gimbal support, and is medium to heavy weight. Cartridges with a shell weight of 17 to 26 G can be used. Most cartridges can be used except Ortofon's SPU. The included shell is also of good quality, similar to Technica. It's a pure manual, with just two large push buttons. It's an easy to understand and easy to use player that lets you enjoy the real pleasure of analog play. The sound depends on the cartridge, but this type rarely impairs the original tone of the cartridge. Compared to ultra-high-end machines, the deep bass, the power of super bass, the delicate and subtle lingering sound, and the interplay of hall echoes are not as good. I feel some character in the high range, but at this price it's definitely a high CP machine.